on, Megan, here. Hold on, let me set the fucking timer. Um, all right, so quick video. Uh, I made videos about calories, not a calorie, plenty of times before, and I figured by now everyone would be on the same page because it's just a fact, you know. There's, I mean, I, I made videos about this even before the, the science was beating the topic down. But, you know, and then, you know, some people didn't agree, you know, kept it moving. I was like, everybody, you know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but you just can't argue facts. And lately, once again, I'm going through the messages. That's where the videos come from. And I'm getting a lot of confusion from uh, some of the subscribers, uh, you know, as opposed to, hey, I'm trying to lose weight or I'm trying to gain weight, uh, you know. And then all I hear is, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm eating more calories or I'm, I'm cutting my calories and it's not working, blah, 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 blah. And I'm asking them all the time. I'm like, you know, how? what are your macronutrients like? You know, what is your what are your hormones like? You know, I, you guys know almost every video I talk about the importance of hormones. And I, I keep telling them that's the most important thing. Calories are important, but that comes after those top three things that I have here. Hormones, macronutrients, digestion, things like that. And a lot of them are confused. They're like, well, but, you know, if you if you if if I just cut my calories, I should lose weight. Or if I just increase my calories, I should gain weight. And I'm like, where are you guys getting this information from? You know, like, by now, it should be a, a known fact that body composition is not just about calories, you know. A calorie is not just a calorie. I, I, I mean, I, it's a topic that's been bitten down so many times. But for certain people, it just, it just won't, it just won't go through their head, man. They're like, oh no, it's all about your calories. So I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna take advantage of this, uh, these segments that I'm doing to, uh, to talk about the topic. You know, the scientific study of the week or day, whatever. I haven't made those in a minute. So let's use this study. I'm gonna put the link of the study in the description. There's, a, there's so many more studies on this, but I, I specifically chose this one because it applies to the audience, you know, people that, that train, that work out. But there are so many more studies. If you want, I make a separate video on each and every one of them. But those studies are old. They're not anything new. And they explain to you, they show you hard cold facts. You know, you don't even need the studies because with common sense, you should know that a calorie is not a calorie from just observation. But for those of you guys who want the cold science uh, truth, well, here it is, you know. So that took a bunch of men. Ah, uh, fuck, I forgot to turn on the the timer. This video is probably more than five minutes already. But anyway, they, they took a bunch of men and women, whatever. And for eight weeks, you know, they had a control group, which I have here on the left side. And they had the um, high-protein group, right? So the control group is obviously the control group. They, they, they're training the same. They're eating the same. The high-protein group, they ate uh, 100% more calories. So they doubled their, their, no, not calories, their protein intake, right? They doubled their protein intake. And they, um, they increased their calories by 800, which is really weird because normally... Both groups have the same caloric intake. But in this case, the higher protein group, just to show you guys that a calorie is not a fucking calorie, right? That losing weight uh, uh, and, and gaining weight is not simply about calories. They ate 800 more calories. That's 800 calories above their maintenance, right? For two months. That comes up to about 45,000 extra calories, you know? And if you, if you subscribe to the theory of, oh, excess calories just become fat, then that would gain about 13 pounds of fat based on that calories because obviously 45,000 calories divided by 3,500 gives you about 12.8, 13 pounds of fat, right? So everyone is saying excess calories just become fat. Well, those 800 calories that they ate extra above their maintenance every day should have become fat. Mind you, the training stayed the same. There was no, uh, you know, oh, they did more cardio or more training. No, no. Training stayed the same. Carbs stayed relatively the same. Fat stayed relatively the same. The only thing that changed between the control group and the high protein group was the high protein group uh, doubled their protein intake and consumed 800 more calories. Those 800 calories came from their protein intake, right? And I told you guys several times before, you know, that's why a calorie is not a calorie because if somebody who's eating a thousand extra calories, if you watch my old video, before this study even came out when I made that video, I told you guys, if somebody's eating a, a thousand more calories, but he's getting that from protein, right? And someone else is getting a thousand extra calories from fat or, or carbs. How the fuck do you think that they're gonna look the same? How the fuck do you think that they're both gonna just put on fat? You know, but people were arguing me. What are you talking about, vegan? A calorie is a calorie. If they both eat a thousand more calories, they should, you know, they should both put on fat. And I was like, what the fucking fuck? Like, like, a brains in 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 in. I don't understand. But anyway, this study's here, right? Uh, so here's the results, right? Uh, the control group, 
uh, they, they were eating. You guys could read if you have time. I don't want to make the video too, you know, already longer than it is. So you could go back and pause the video and look at the protein intake. You know, the the two numbers mean before and after, right? So before the control group was eating about 150 grams of protein, you know, by the end of the study, they were eating about 140, which is relatively the same. Those numbers are not statistically significant. So it's about the same. The high protein group went from 160 to 310. 310 grams of protein per day, which is insane. It is like four or five times the recommendation of the, you know, the RDA bullshit recommendation. Um, the carbs stayed about the same, as you could tell. The fats stayed about the same. And the things that I read are the, are the you know, the biggest changes. The calories, as you can see, went up 40%. 40% above maintenance for the high protein group. Look at the results, guys. Look at the lean mass. The lean mass from the control group went up about 2.5 pounds, right? I rounded the numbers up. You could go to the study and, look and get the exact decimals and all that bullshit. The lean mass went up about 2.5 pounds, right? That's muscle and, you know, water, all that other bullshit. Uh, for the high protein group, it went up about 4 pounds. The lean mass went up about 4 pounds. Now, check this. Look at the shocker here. Look at the fat gain. The control group, which obviously didn't make, you know, any changes, stayed about the same, right? Between 24 to 25 pounds of fat. The high protein group, which should have put on about 13 pounds of fat from those excess calories, check this out. They went from 27 pounds of fat mass, right, to 26.5, which is about the same, right? In fact, it went down, you know, slightly lower. They ate 800 more fucking calories and actually lost slightly, you know. And mind you, this is only an eight-week study. If it was drawn out for, you know, a longer period of time, you would really see the significance of these numbers. But how do you explain this? You calorie in versus calorie out, motherfuckers. I get mad because these people piss me off so much. I thought they were buried with 2012 when I when I thought that the topic was, you know, you know, in a grave. But somehow they're still, you know, popping up their heads. You know, that some of them message me, oh, you know, in, in those old videos, I still get comments. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, this is bro science. You know, you, there, there goes the results. And that's not the only study. I'm not just, you know, picking a random study that... That, that confirms my thesis, you go on the internet and type protein overfeeding and you see so many studies on healthy, trained men and women that show you that as long as you're getting those excess calories from protein, right, which is the importance of micronutrients, you won't, you're not going to gain that much fat, right? And, 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 and it's, to me, you don't even need a study to, to, to show this to you, you know? Protein increases your resting metabolic rate. It is hardly converted into fat, right? The, the, the pathway exists, of course, but it's, it's obviously longer and a bit harder. It uses a lot more energy, you know? And, and you know, it, it has so many other... I made a video called Protein as a Whole. Your body uses the protein for so many different things, you know, as opposed to just, you know, fat or, or you know, or carbs. But somehow people want the, you know, the the science to back up exactly what they, they believe. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'm trying to cut the video short. Uh, look up the study. There's so many more studies. If you want, you know, just go to Google. You know, you don't have to wait till I make a fucking video on the topic. Go to scholar.google. Look up um, uh, cited studies that will explain the same thing. This is an old topic. I, I actually feel bad. I got to make a video on this again, but hopefully that clears out the confusion. Remember, I put up here, why a calorie is not a calorie. If two people, twins, right, have the same training, same everything, right, eat the same amount of calories, if those three things or out of whack, or out of balance, you're going to get different results. So if those twins both go on a 1,000 caloric surplus, right, but one twin has, like, let's say, higher testosterone levels, higher T3, you know, thyroid hormone levels, less cortisol, you know, it's not insulin resistant, you know, like, it's a male, of course, obviously, you know, he's not going to get the same results, even though they're both eating the exact same amount of calories. Same thing, macronutrients. If they're both eating the same amount of calories, but one twin has a higher protein intake than the other one, they're not going to, you know, both put on fat the same way. One person is going to increase his lean mass, assuming that everything else is constant as far as training and cardio and that stuff. And the third thing is digestion and processing. Just because you're eating 3,000 calories does not mean that your body is using all those 3,000 calories efficiently, you know? It depends, once again, it depends on your genetics, it depends on your metabolism, all these factors that I put above. So stop simplifying weight loss and weight gain to just 3,000 calories, uh, 1,000 extra, 500 extra. No, motherfucker. Macronutrients, hormone levels, and obviously, you know, 
the way your body processes those things. Those should come first. I'm not saying calories don't mean anything. Obviously, your body fucking needs calories. You know, and obviously, cutting back on your calories will help short term. But you got to be small with those three factors to obtain the results that you want. All right, guys. This video is longer than I wanted it to be. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, don't forget to vote for the next videos. And what else? Yeah, like, subscribe, all that good shit. I'm out of here, guys. Team 3D Alpha. Other segments. So go in the comment section and just vote. Vote on what you think is your most requested uh, topic. And then obviously the one that has the most likes are the ones that are going to put in prioritize. Uh, in case let's